Hey y'all, welcome to Let's Roll Outdoors. We're keeping it simple for this video. Guess what we're doing? We're out here with some corn and some light tackle rods and reels, like these little $20 uh, six pound outfits, and we're just having fun catching carp, all right? So check this out. This is all you need to do. This is gonna be a quick video, just something fun you could do with your family. I got some, a big uh, uh, bucket of corn, all right? The big can of corn, the cheapest corn you can find, kernel corn. And then let's see here, can you shine into here? All right, notice how it's all red. Okay, we put a bunch of strawberry jello in there. So we just put the whole packet of jello in this corn, mixed it up, and we've been throwing some corn kernels out every few minutes out in front of us, 10, 15 yards out. And we are just using some small circle hooks and some mosquito uh, si uh, style um, small hooks, size one and size two, all right? And uh, just threading a whole bunch of kernels of corn on there and casting it out. All right, let's see if we can catch a carp here. All right, simple fishing, fun with the family. All right, we are hooked up with something. I'm guessing it's a carp. Just cast it out, this little light tackle rod right here with just a, a, just a hook, no weight, loaded up with corn. This one's bigger. And we got about a six pound test outfit on little ultralight here. I'll just come back. He's right here. But he's farther out. Yeah, it has so a I got a net right here. Here we go. Yeah, okay, somewhere. Something fun to do with the kids at any freshwater location near you, probably. All throughout the United States. Come throw some baits out. Catch a big carp. Yeah, so we got the drag loose because it's only about six pound test. Some of these carp are, you know, the last one we just landed was about in the 10 pound range. Little, little cheapo uh, combo rod I found in the store here for about 20 bucks. Right here. here we go. Let's see. Take there he is. Right, let's see if we can get him in this time. You got to pull him back, dude. Like, bring him yeah, back. Well, I can. Bring him back. Bring them back to the net. As much pressure as I can. Bring them to the net. Yeah. Oh, oh, he hit the net. He hit the rim of the net. I can't. I'm not going out in the water for your for a carp here. He went down yeah. as soon as he went to try. All right, here we go. Mr. Carp. Oh. <laughs> I got. It. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Carp. There you go, folks. Go get you a carp. This one looks like he's in about a three or four pound range. <laughs> but he was. All right. Heck of a fight. Okay, there he is in the net. All right, we'll get him out. Show him to you. All right, so check these things out. They got no teeth. All right. Oh, don't drop them. Hold them, hold them. Look at that. Little sucker mouth. This is the common carp. Look at that. No no teeth. Got these little barbells right here to feel around. And these, they got very Brr. sensitive mouths. Like, See that? Check him out. All right. Success. Got us a carp. All right. There you go, folks. Some, some pretty cool action right here in a lake. All right. They're in lakes. They're in ponds. They're in rivers. All right. But if you're just tired of little bobber fishing with your kids and, and catching, you know, the little bluegill, which is still a lot of fun. I'll do that all day, every day as well. But if you want to have them pull on something, freshwater fishing, try the carp out, all right? This is pretty simple. Go to the grocery store, get the corn. Get you any any outfit, all right? Uh, light tackle, heavy tackle, you know, anywhere from the 6 to 20 pound range. Get you some small hooks, flop them out in front of you, and just hang out, all right? You can, uh, you can get the grill going. You can hang out with the kids. The kids don't have to pay attention the whole time. But here's a couple things. Make sure your drag is set. Make sure your rod is sitting in a way that it won't get taken out into the ocean. Or into the ocean. I'm used to saltwater fishing like this. Uh, make sure your drag is set that the, the pole won't get taken out into the lake or the, the pond or wherever it is you're fishing. Because these, these carp will just take the rod, all right? Some of these are big. Um, so the one we just caught was three or four pounds. I'm going to show you a picture of some other ones. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. And I'm going to show you a video of, of some of the carp we caught earlier. All right, here in the same spot during the day. All right, but that's it. Let's roll. Get the angle over here. Over here. It's okay. No, because there's a whole rock right there. I can see him.
This dude's fighting way harder than the catfish did. Oh man, he's going to the shore. He's going to the structure. Yeah, yeah, go back out. Go back out. Don't listen to the drag. I don't want to break him. Don't break it. That's where I'm being really, really sensitive. Oh, oh we need that big landing net for this one. No, he's not too big. He's not big, he's just really fat. <laughs> 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 he's not big, he's just really fat. Come to spot. On no. light, light tackle there. This is six pound test, but old six pound test. So, Jake Gavin, I don't even know if we should try screwing with the net. No, because we could get his head in there and like try and like flip him. You're gonna have to. No, he's not gonna. If you can direct his head into that little net. But then you have to push it. Well, Gavin's Gavin's about to fall in the water. I'm, I'm hopefully, I get some comic relief on this video. <laughs> Poor man's tarkin. Oh, never mind. He's just, he's just... just get behind him. There you go. Yay! Yay. Carp. Got a carp. Look how pretty it is. That's not good. There it is. Success. The... Let's go home now. No. 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 Okay. No way. No way. You say. Hey, this is a big one though. It is a better one. Alright, we got carp number two here. Is this the bait that they were hitting the corn? Corn with strawberry jello powder added. And we're light tackling them today. Six pound tests, I think. That's why you hear that drag going like that. Find some cover to cut you off. Well, that's not doing it. Then you just bring them right into this spot right here. Yeah. Watch that log that's in the water right there. Mm -hmm. There's a log right there. That's the dead one. Pull them over here. So I'm trying to do. These ones fight a whole lot better than the grass carp. Yeah. There you go. Just pull them on it. I guess. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not touching the line. Yay! All right, got another yeah, carp. Yippee! It's the exact same size. No, it isn't. It's, it's the exact same fish. <laughs> Probably. All right, congratulations. It's time to go home. It's on the red rod again. Alright. Almost lost a rod. <laughs> There's your common carp. Alright, here we go. We're gonna put this one back in the water. Pretty good action during the daytime, right? That was uh, you know, same spot, same uh tactics, all right, putting uh, corn on a hook and flopping it out there. And uh we're catching these big old carp. Let's get him back in the water here. Okay, so that's it folks. Get some corn, get some strawberry jello, bring your fishing poles out to a freshwater spot near you, and uh <laughs> Just wait for a fish to bite, right? That's pretty much what we're doing, casting the baits out there and uh, letting them sit. And then uh, you hear the drag go off and you see your pole starting to get bent. Hook that thing and bite them, all right? Get your kids out here on a freshwater uh, monster carp, all right? Let them feel the drag pull. A little bit different than bobber fishing for some bluegills, right? So uh, that's it. I'm covered in slime. I'm going to get washed off and uh, we're going to go make some more videos. Hopefully you keep watching them and keep joining us on these outdoor adventures on Let's Roll Outdoors. I'm going to get out of here right now. I'm going to roll out, right? See you next time.